Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is so incredibly cold. That's why we're gonna make red wine braised short ribs. <laughs> it's such a long title. Oh, my, my mouth is literally watering. It is so good. Oh my goodness. And over mm, some mashed potatoes, garlic, butter, mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's 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 get into this as I sip my coffee here and try to warm up. So starting off, we have our short ribs. I have five short ribs here. I'm just gonna season them with salt and pepper. That is all you need for this. There's gonna be so much flavor coming later. You wanna salt kind of aggressively because a lot of it's just gonna stick to the pan, which it's gonna end up coming out in the rest of your dish anyway but you wanna be aggressive with your salt and pepper. And then we're gonna do it on the front and the back, but you guys know I don't like to waste seasoning, so we're gonna do this side first, put them in the pan, and then we can season the other side. For our pan, we're gonna use our Dutch oven. I'm gonna add in about a heaping tablespoon of some rendered out chicken fat. I have been using this in all my videos, one, because I'm trying to use it up, and two, it just, oh, it makes everything, even though this is beef, it makes everything taste so, so much better. Then once this is nice and hot and you can hear it like sizzling, we're gonna take our short ribs and place them seasoned side down. We're not wanting to cook them fully, we're just wanting to get a nice little sear on them to develop some more flavor and some color. Now after four minutes, we can go ahead and flip them. This is exactly what we're looking for. Nice crusty color. All of that marrow is just mm, getting so good. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see that? Like, I know you guys are watching, but do you see that? Okay, now we can let them go on the other side for the same three to four minutes. Now that they're nice and golden, we can take them out and just put them in a little bowl. Then into the same fat, be careful, it's gonna be hot. We're gonna add our veggies. I'm gonna add one large diced onion. To the onions, I'm also gonna add eight ounces of sliced mushrooms, two ribs of celery that I had frozen, and two large carrots that I just shaved. No, what is that? Peel and chunk. So then we can go in and give everything a mix. Now, since this is gonna go in the oven, I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. It's gonna go in there for two hours. For those of you guys wondering if you can make this in your crock pot, you definitely could, but I recommend the oven for this method. One, because it is so cold outside and I want my house to get really nice and warm. But this, the oven helps just heat everything so perfectly and thicken up your sauce. Whereas putting it in the crock pot just makes it kind of like watery and soupy. So this, you're gonna get like the nicest, thickest gravy and sauce ever. So for this, we're just wanting to pick up a little bit of that fond, as you can see by the bottom. There was not that much. I know this metal on metal scraping here is really annoying. Then once your veg is good, I'm gonna add in some of the Spice Tribe porcini. This is, I would compare it to the Trader Joe's mushroom seasoning and the mushroom seasoning from Trader Joe's is a lot cheaper than this one, but this just has garlic, porcini, rosemary, mustard, thyme, basil, Calabrian chili, but it mainly just tastes like mushrooms. And even though there's mushrooms in here, I just want more of that extra mushroomy flavor. And I almost forgot, we're gonna add in a tablespoon of some garlic. Now to all of this, we're gonna add in, mine was frozen, two tablespoons, two heaping tablespoons of some tomato paste. If you don't have tomato paste, you can do about a quarter of a cup of some tomato sauce and just let it cook out until it gets pretty thick. Now we can stir this together. At this point, you're gonna wanna turn your heat up to high. I'm gonna deglaze with a little bit of red wine. By a little bit, I mean a cup. Remember, this, we're gonna cook off the wine. So once again, another recipe, do not think you're gonna get drunk from this. This is just for flavor. And I always recommend use something cheap, never something that's gonna cost you a fortune. Then deglaze, we're gonna scrape up everything from the side and from the bottom. Then we can go ahead and add four cups of some chicken broth. Feel free to use beef broth. Then once you have everything in there, we can add back in our short ribs. They're gonna be pretty much submerged. If they're not, don't worry about it, but you wanna make sure at least half of them are and add in all of that juice. Oh my gosh, this mm, is gonna be so good. So now with our oven preheated at 400, 
we can add the lid and we'll see it in two hours. Two hours later, everything is super saucy and super tender. Do you guys see this? Literally just falling apart. The carrots are always my favorite part whenever it comes down to like a pot roast or anything. Oh my goodness. And the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted your broth and gravy to get a little bit thicker, you could throw it back in the oven at the same 400 for about 15 minutes or cook it down on the stove. But honestly, this nice like saucy juiciness is probably the way we're going to eat it. Oh, I, oh, I'm so ready. Does this not look incredible? I say that about everything, but it really is that good. Top with parsley. Mm -hmm.